It's a great day in South Carolina. This is Karen with Xanadu News and welcome to my channel. Hi. It's been a hot minute since I've done any videos. 2022 was not a good year for me. I mean, it could have been worse. Like this um, poor fellow at my work who lost his wife to cancer. It wasn't, you know, that tragic for me. But it just, it just... It seemed like every time I turned around, some small little catastrophe happened. Nothing humongous that you just like, can I please have a break? Anyway, I have been collecting so much stuff since like September. I might have been August to do a haul with a crappy haul. I've never got around to doing it because I got tonsillitis and I got I lost both of my dogs to cancer. That's the closest, you know, kind of like you can almost compare, but you can't. Then I got we got I got COVID. I got bit by my macaw. Blah blah blah. Anyway, so this stuff has been piling up, which has led me to my New Year's resolution, which I'm going to um. Announced it at the end of the series, and this is going to be a series because there's just too much to show in one video. So this is going to be my crafty Christmas, what I got for Christmas haul, and my and it's going to be each episode is going to be 20 minutes long. Then I'm going to be able to put the stuff away, and then at the end of this series, I will explain to you my um, New Year's resolution. And you're going to probably figure it out, figure out what it is, because you're going to say, what the ham sandwich? I, I just felt a little bad. And when I feel bad, I went shopping. And to be fair, I, I did receive about three bonuses this year from work. They were catching up for the admin. And I received a um, refund from state. Um... They gave us an additional refund for something, I'm not really sure. So I had a little extra spending money, and, the, and a lot of this is Christmas. And some of this I've actually already shown in a previous video, it's probably the last video I did. So I'm going to gloss over it real fast, because I bought my own Christmas present. Anyway, two and a, almost three minutes into it, I only have 17 minutes left. Oh, when I say it's going to be 20 minutes, I'm going to stop talking about the last thing. I'm going to finish talking about the last thing. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, this is Barney. He's my little green chick conier. He's going to bite me. Yeah. <laughs> and if it runs over 20 minutes, it runs over 20. So just stop. What you doing? <sighs> He's cheeky. Green cheeky conier. <laughs> if it runs over 20 minutes on the last item, then that's, I'm going to stop after that item and start a new video. Anyway, I got this for Christmas. Dollar Tree used to carry these in a smaller can, and they do not. So I got this at um, Big Lots. Well, my mom got it for me at Big Lots. She bought one for me and one for my stepdad, and then she bought him another one. So I actually got both of them, and uh, it's empty. So I did see that um, Dollar General has them, but they're not in the cans anymore. They're in the boxes. But yeah, I got that for Christmas. And I will, by the way, this is a miscellaneous everything haul. I don't even know where half of the stuff came from right at this moment, but I will tell you as I get through it. And there will be stories with it. That's why I'm going to cut it down in 20 minutes. So then this next item, um, I got for free. If you were not aware, if you're a Michael's Rewards, you get a, they gave you a $5 reward at the beginning of the year. And I took that $5 reward, and I also had a 40% coupon. And I had a 20% coupon. Oh, by the way, that, all that noise you're hearing is my um, parakeets, budgies. I don't know why I just did that. My budgies, they're directly behind this camera. And I'm going to show you the budgies, parakeets, in the last part of the haul video series. Because that is part of the haul for what I got for Christmas. And a few of them are Christmas gifts. Yes, I said a few of them. Anyway. I got a $5 reward. They gave you, gave us all the reward pe um, people who are signed up for the rewards. Just, they just gave it to us. So, I went to Michael's 
And I used the 40% off on this box of crayons. They're the metallic. I have been wanting the metallic forever, and they haven't been um, available. So, but I got got that, and I used the 40% off. I already said that. And then I got this set of stamps. They're little animals. I don't know if you can see. Do you mind? They were $1.99, but I used a 20% coupon. And they, both of these together ended up being only um, $4 still. So I still have a dollar left. So there's a fox. And then there's a deer. The um, wood grain's kind of getting in the way. And there's a little hedgehog. And this one is a little bunny. So that, those two items are free. Then my mother gave me her rewards. Plus she gave me a gift card that she wasn't going to use. And I don't have the big thing that I bought in this video because I didn't want to carry it over and I had so much stuff anyway. But I had bought three different things. One of them I bought this, which was originally $4.99 and it's like sequin glitter. You get four different colors. There's a white, a red and green mix, a white and red mix, and just a green mix. And it was on sale 70% off for $1.50. So I got that. And then they had their open stock pencils. Barney, stop! For um, buy three, get two free. And if you're a Prisma color fan, they are um, discontinuing two color because they are having a hard time getting the pigment or something. And they are um, lavender and lilac, I believe. So they had one of each. So I did get one each as a backup even though I'm not a purple fan I just thought I might as well get them because they're going to be gone and then I got the third one which is this peach white peach that's a very popular color to use with portraits and these are the two I chose for free I got a light blue and a black I don't know why I chose black I don't even know why I chose these two colors but they were free so I paid full price for the these three oh, no, 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 these three you got these two for free. They're like between two dollars and two cents. Barney! And two dollars and twenty-six cents. Then that was at Michael's also. I got this from Amazon. It was a um splurge purchase. I was ordering something and saw it, and it was the Johanna Bass Bassford um, planner. I'm not much of a planner person, but I like her books, so I did get this, and uh, maybe I will become a planning person. Maybe if I start planning the videos, I'll have one more than two a year. <laughs> and let's show, let me show you the shoes. I got a new friend. My new friend likes to chew on my shoes, so he chewed on my black tie shoes. And I think I might have showed this in a previous video that I have a hard time finding ladies' tie shoes, black. So I buy little boys' black tie shoes, you know, for Sunday school. For not a second. Oh my goodness. Stretch, stretch. Stretch, stretch. Well, my little, my new little friend chewed it up. One of the, um, my little black Sunday school boy shoes. So I found a pair of Kohl's. They were $39.99. But I had two $10 Kohl's caches. Plus I had a 20% coupon. So I got these. Which brought them down quite a bit. And then I got these on clearance at the same time. Which I practically got these for free. And even though they're not exactly my style because they're pink and purple, they're Fila's, and I do like Fila's, and that got the memory foam. Shoes are shoes to me. As long as they cover my feet and feel comfy, I can live with pink and purple shoes. Now, probably anything else I wouldn't, but these were um, originally $59.99, and I got them for $16.19. Plus, with the 20% off, plus with the um, closed coupons, I ended up not paying a lot. But I was going through Walmart, um, walmart.com, and I found these. 
I really, really, really like these. I've actually worn them once, and they're really comfortable. And these are actually a lady's shoe. So I got those. I got these. I bought these after I found those, but so I went and got these as well. And my aunt got me these for Christmas, and then my mom got me a pair. Like I said, I like Fila's. They were on clearance for $14.99. And we had a coupon for 30, 25%, 30%. They ended up being like $11. And they're your, your basic work, um, non skid So, So I do have two pairs of these. This is my backup. The other pair I've worn. I actually have another pair that I'm wearing right now, which I will continue to wear. But I got one came from my mom for Christmas and one came from my aunt for Christmas. Save this one for later. This is another splurge when I bought this. I actually was buying something else, which is going to be shown in the last video. It's for my little friends chewed up my shoes. When I watch YouTube videos, I always see everybody using this little um um what was it a tonic paper trimmers. I think this one's a little too big. That's okay. The um, you know the guillotine. I was kind of hoping for a smaller one, but I guess it's I, it's not that so bad. The one that I point. Maybe that's this one. Anyway, this one was like twenty three dollars, and I got it on the Amazon. Amazon, you are evil, evil, evil. Stop showing me stuff that's in my head that I want. I mean, how do they know? It's like they can read your mind. And this is something random. I got this from my niece from Dollar Tree. And, well, I, I kind of forgot to give it to her. So I told my mom we should do a junk box. If you see the DIY guy, um, excuse me, stop putting my ear. The DIY guy, he, his mom gives him a junk box. And I suggest that we do that for the um, little kids. And this will go in there. If you hear a, a word and it sounds like um butthole, please let me know. Because I think my macaw has picked up that word, but he's not using the word butt. So if you think you hear it, because I think he just might have said it, what do you mean? comment that you, yeah, you heard it. So I'm not exactly 100% sure, sure that is what he's saying. Uh, I think I mentioned I had COVID at the beginning and I had all the intentions to deco pause these tags. I think he said it again. And I got these at Michael's, I think for 60% off. For some square ones, they were 50 I think I spent like $5, I don't remember. And then the regular pets, well, that didn't happen because I got COVID. And then I was going to do a glue book for Christmas. I did that absolutely wonderful one for Halloween. And I do plan to um, share it. I know it's way past Halloween. That's how far I'm at. But anyway, I was going to do a Christmas glue book. And I kept buying books because I couldn't decide which book I wanted. And this one came from Ollie's. That's a... Um, it's like a closeout store. It's like what Big Lots used to be. He just said it again. And this is nightmare, night before Christmas. And it has a pull out, which I'm not going to pull out because this video is already 15 minutes in. I absolutely love these pictures. The um, cover, you know, it didn't look like it was going to be as good, but when you opened it up, it was, these pictures are pretty um, vintage. I really like them. So, I actually bought two of these. One of them is at work. Not two of these. These I bought two of this story. But it'll show up in one of these series hauls. Then I got this at Kohl's also. It was for $5. And it was um, Frida. Frida. You know, you know who she is. So I thought that was a pretty cool book. It's like a little golden book. Big version of the book. So yes, so I got that book just for me to have in my little collection. 
Then I got a sketchbook from Walmart. It's um, pen and gear. I had big plans for the sketchbook, and I do not remember what it was for. And I really did not need another sketchbook. And I actually got two of these, and I do not remember why I wanted two sketchbooks. Yeah, but I got two of these. I think I was going to collage something, or I was going to use it for a painting. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> then I got this from um, Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off. I want to take up drawing again because, you know, I already had this one, but yeah, I, that wasn't good enough because it flipped at the top, so I had to get this one. And I'm rolling my eyes at myself. And then I mentioned to you I like Johanna Basford, so I got her latest book, Rooms in Windows, Rooms of Wonder. Wonder it backwards. So, yep, 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 I just got it. It was Amazon. I think I said that already. This was from Walmart. And it's Debbie McCumber's Holly Jolly Christmas. Never colored in it. I like her books. But yeah, Walmart. This one was also Walmart. This was the same um, type of book that the, um, night, the night before Christmas, the, the other one that I'm not showing in this particular book. This is the size of it. It was $4.98. And uh, I love the this. Like I said, I couldn't decide which glue book I wanted to go. I did I want to go with the Nutcracker theme or did I want to go with the Night, Be Night Before Christmas theme? So I got both of them. Let me see. Got three more minutes. Then I got the Somerset Studio Magazine. I get this every um, quarter. It, this is the um. I can't read it. I oh, I need new glasses. I think this is the winner. The winner one. It's November through um, January. But it's got a um, circus thing to it. And that came from Books a Million. I wanted to get it at Michael's and use my $5 reward. They didn't have it. And then they had it the next time I was there. And I was like, girl. And got some more coloring books. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I want to do a um, fairy tale journal. So I got this one with has Cinderella, Little Mermaid, and Goylocks and Three Bears. And then I got this one, and it's got um, Alice and no, it's got Puss in Boots, Three Little Pigs, um, and Wizard of Oz. And then I got this one during Christmas. Um, Halloween Creepy Girls. It's is it is it it's a coloring book cafe book. So I get that one on Amazon. Got this one. This is um Primrose Coloring Books. I think this is also Coloring Book Cafe. Which they change the name. It goes back and forth. And um yeah, I got that on Amazon. And then I got this one on Amazon and it's a Coco Wild. I got this one on Amazon too. And then I got this one at the Dollar Tree. And apparently I already have it. But I got I got the Dollar General version. Dollar General version of it. And it's Hello Winter. And then I got this from Ollie's. And it was the Nutcracker. And it was to go with the glue book. And I've actually hauled this like three times. One was for my niece. Two is for me. One was for the glue book. One is to actually color in. Then I got this from Amazon. It is the Creative Haven Enchanted Christmas. Like I really need any more coloring books. Then I got this for Christmas. I mean from Amazon Christmas EL is about coloring book. I think this is coloring book cafe. Got this from Amazon if I didn't say it. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it's just a scrapbooking book. Okay, um, I'm going to finish the books up. Just going to run over a little bit more than 20 minutes. I got this cute Christmas coloring book. Got that from the Amazon. I got 
the Zen Doodle Colorscapes Gnomes at home. I got this from Walmart. I got the Mando Mandalorian coloring book. I got this from Walmart. And it shows you how long I've held all this stuff. I got another Somerset Studio. This was the spring one. It is, um, uh, would you stop that? It's August, September, and November, October. So this is the issue before. And then this is the other one I got from the Dollar Tree, this other coloring book. And it's the same as the ones I already have from Linden from Dollar General, but I paid $3 for it. But the paper is better and you get more prints. So that's it for this haul. I will um, come back with another haul and another haul and another haul until I get finished with showing you everything I got. So until next time, stay calm and please don't go crazy like I did. Till next time, bye.